I'm about to show you guys the best defensive trick you can use in all of Madden 24 to instantly improve your defense, get more stops, play better coverage, and win more games. Let's get into it now. YouTube, what is up? It is your boy Duke, back here from sportsgamers.com, and I got a banger for you guys today. I'm sure you guys how to make your defense and your coverage way better with a trick that nobody really knows or uses. And the best part is, is you can use this trick from any defensive playbook, any formation, and really any play. Now, we're just going to get straight into it here. I want to talk about some of the meta stuff that is so hard to stop that everybody's running on this year's game. And one of the biggest things I will say that is really challenging to stop is people who abuse the running back out of the backfield, whether it's on like the ins and outs of the backfield, the Texas routes, um, the running back streaks or wheels. You know, when people do these uh, out of good plays, like say like verticals or dagger, very meta plays, it is so hard to stop because, you know, you throw a play out there like verticals, you know, you got that seam to the tight end, you got the crosser, you got the wheel. Then you throw like a Texas route in there. I mean, this is basically impossible to defend because like as the defense, you know, you got way too many things that could be coming open. And you see, you know, you have to go worry about the tight end. They just are easily able to throw it to the running back Texas route out of the backfield. So, you know, you got stuff like that. Another play that's really, really hard to stop that's very meta is dagger out of these bunch strong formations because again, kind of the same concept here. I mean, what people really do is really at the end of the day, all they do is, you know, pick plays like this where you got to respect the middle of the field, like Dagger has that crosser drag combo, but then, you know, they, they, they do a streak out of the backfield too. So it's like if your user is going to have to respect the middle of the field, which, you know, pretty much you have to against a play like this, you know, you have no shot to stop the running back because, you know, he's just hitting that seam area, which you can't defend. So what can we do about this? Well, there's a very simple answer, and I'm gonna show you guys a few different tricks or ways to utilize this trick um, out of different formations and whatnot. I'm gonna start just showing you guys how to do it out of nickel over a few different examples. Now, the only thing about this is, is you, you do wanna use defensive ends that are decent in coverage. Preferably, they can have lurk artists. I have a lot of them, like Derek Brooks, Adrian Collins, Bo Jackson, Lawrence Taylor, etc. Um, I would say the best one is actually that Bruce Irvin that just came out. I'm probably going to get him. Just haven't got him yet. But let's just start with nickel over, right? This is a defense that I really love. Now, before I show you guys how to do this, I want to remind you that I do free Madden 24 videos on a daily basis on my YouTube channel. I do tips as well as high-level gameplays. So if you enjoy high-level Madden content, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop me a like, comment on the video. I really do appreciate the support. It allows me to continue to do these free videos for you guys. So here's the first way we're going to utilize this. All right, so basically, guys, when you, you, know, you recognize somebody is killing you with the running back, whether it's like any, any route I just showed you, a streak, a Texas route, in and out, out of the backfield, there's a universal way to kind of stop all this. Now, what you're going to want to do is whatever defense you're in, like I said, it doesn't really matter. We'll show a few examples. Here we're in nickel over, cover four quarters. You could be in whatever, though. You know, I'm in a defense right here where, like, the middle is my job, right? And most defenses are like that. So what we're going to do is on the defensive end that's on the same side of the screen as the running back, which here the running back's on the left. So we're going to focus on the left of screen defensive end. We're going to put him in a bluff blitz. Now, the easiest way to do this is just click on him. If you're newer to the game and don't know quick adjustments, just click on him. And uh, bluff blitz is to the right on the right analog stick. So I also want to note, you can do whatever other adjustments you want to your defense. As long as you bluff blitz that DN on the same side of the screen as the running back, I mean, you could show blitz, shift your line, blitz players, shade, coverage. I mean, as long as you get that bluff blitz, that you're good. The rest of the defense, you can set up how you want. So you're going to notice uh, right here that that guy will man up to the running back and essentially play him man-to-man. -man, and he'll do a pretty good job, especially, like I said, if he has Lurk Artist, some good coverage. You'll see, like, look, like he's guarding him out of the backfield. And he'll do that whether he's on the angle route, the in, the out, the streak. Doesn't really matter. Do you want to become a better Madden player and win more games? If so, check out my premium Madden strategy website, sportsgamers.com. I have built sportsgamers.com to provide you with the best Madden tips Best Madden ebooks and schemes, all from the pros, at the lowest price possible. I have helped thousands upon thousands of Madden players improve their games, and I can help you as well. 
Our VIP Madden membership is our best offer yet. This membership will include all of our Madden eBooks all year long and hundreds of weekly Madden Vault tip updates to keep you ahead of the game. Click the link in the description and use coupon code DUKE for 10% off your order. Let me show you guys the replay and then I'm going to show you guys a few different ways you can do this and show how I personally like to use it, use it the best. But you can see here, you know, he just mans up on him and he actually basically undercuts the route. And if you, you know, that's a lurk artist, you try to throw that, especially, you know, if he's a good coverage player, that can easily be a pick. And then that allows you to worry about, you know, the other routes that are effective on the play, like the, you know, the seam routes, uh, the crossers, the dra you know, the drags, whatever you need to do. All right, guys, so here in the 3-3 Cub, we're going to just make whatever adjustments we want. But again, just bluff blitz the defensive end on the, on the side of the running back, which here, it's the left. Now, I'm going to bluff blitz Aaron Donald. Obviously, we know Aaron Donald is not really a good player in coverage. Um, but you'll see that um, even though he's not ideal, like he doesn't have lurk artists, he doesn't have good coverage stats, like he's actually going to do a better job than you would think. You know, obviously a better player here, it would do better. But I just wanted to show you guys that you don't even necessarily need like the best player. Like, yes, he got open there. Again, that's Aaron Donald. But you do still see he does man up on him. Uh, but again, if you really wanted to get bagged like it did the first time, you really do need a better coverage player there, especially having lurk artists. Because he'll still cover him no matter what. But like at the end of the day, it might not be as good of coverage, you know, if you don't have a good player there. Okay, guys, now I want to focus on how to defend Dagger. The running back streaks out of the backfield. Now, there's one thing you need to know about this, and that this these types of formations that most people run Dagger for have four offensive players on one side of the field. That means, in this case, a running back, a tight end, two receivers. That's four guys. That's known as the rule of four, which typically means that if there's four offensive players on one side of the screen, your matching rules are basically null and void. And you guys can see here, I've even made sure I turn the zone coverage setting on match. Now, once in a while, I will say there is like your dudes just you might get a match principle, maybe, but you can't really rely upon that. So like right here, if I go ahead and we're going to show you guys how to do this from dollar free safety zone blitz. If I go ahead and bluff blitz this uh, defensive end on the running back side, you'll see, I'm on you guys to see what happens. So I'm going to set up the dagger route combo with the running back streak out of the backfield um, and then the drag, you know, cross over the middle. So let's just go ahead and see how this defends it. Um, for, so you guys see what you really need to do. So you guys can see that basically what happens is it will delay it enough to where they can't throw it. They're going to have to throw this like 15 yards down the field. And, you know, if you're running the free safety zone blitz, you should have pressure, um, you know, decent enough pressure to where they just don't even have time for this to get open. Because as you guys can see, what happens is that guy in the three wreck, he doesn't actually match. It's because, like I said, the matching principles don't really apply. So he's really zone drop. And what he does is his first step is to the inside to take away the tight end uh, crosser right away. And then I guard that. But then he floats back out to get underneath the running back. So it's like, you can't really throw this right now. Because again, if, especially if that's a lurk artist, he'll pick it. And then you're getting sacked. The only thing they could do here is if they were able to wait for this to get like 15, 20 yards downfield, they might be able to hide past that. But that's again why you want to have you know, some sort of blitz here to where like they just don't have the time for that to happen. And you're you're able to guard the crosser yourself. They don't really have anything. Now, yes, you could man him up, but the problem with manning him up is if you man him up, honestly, he's just gonna run right by him anyways. So perfectly, I would just keep the bluff, bluff blitz. Personally, excuse me, I would keep the bluff blitz adjustment because honestly, the bluff blitz adjustment will delay him getting open more than even manning him up will. Because as you guys can see, like, I can throw that quick enough if I man him up. Whereas if I bluff blitz, honestly, it takes longer for that to get open. And most of the time, you're going to end up sacked. So that's kind of what I feel like. I feel like the bluff blitz is still your best bet. Yes, it's not going to 100% match in these situations because of the rule of four. I have sometimes got gotten fluky matches from other defenses, uh, you know, but most of the time, it's not going to be consistent or reliable, reliable enough to just get completely match the whole play. But what is going to happen is you're going to basically, you know, cover it up fast enough to where they can't really throw it until they're getting sacked. So, you know, this is going to be really, really, really good defense. If you see the replay one more time here, you can see, you know, this pocket started collapsing about at this point, and there's still nothing open. I'm taking away the crosser. 
I mean, you can't throw this over a Lurk Artist yet. You'd have to be about at this point. And at this point, you when you finally maybe could highball it over his head, you're sacked. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, smash that like button. Until next time, it's your boy Duke, and I'm out of here.